Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best free VPN for Mac. Now, this wasn't so easy because a lot of free VPNs, even though they claim to be privacy friendly, are actually going to keep your personal information and sell it to third parties. So after a lot of digging and testing many different VPNs, I've narrowed it down to what I believe are the three best options. You have Proton VPN, Windscribe, and tunnel bear and because these are the free tier of an essentially paid vpn their way of making money with the free vpn is by getting people to move up and pay for a subscription and that means that their free vpn is just overall more secure and also performs better even though these free vpns do have limitations and i'm going to get into those they're still going to be better than pretty much any other free vpn out there even the ones that don't have those quote unquote limitations most free vpns are just super slow they may have a ton of ads and in general they just don't work very well the connections drop out so if you do know of a completely free vpn that's better than any one of these three please let me know in the comments i would love to check it out and maybe even do a video on it speaking of which i do have many other videos going into some of these vpns particularly proton vpn and you'll find a lot more information about those in the description below so let's start with proton vpn it's probably my favorite of these right here. And the thing with Proton VPN, where it really stands out is that there's no cap on your data. With TunnelBear, you're limited to two gigabytes of data per month. And even though I'm aware that that is very low, I'll get into the pros of TunnelBear later on. With Winscribe, you start out with two gigabytes of data per month when you first sign up. If you share your email with them and you allow them to send you promotional emails, then you'll get 10 gigabytes of data per month. That's what I did right here. And if you share a post about them on X, then that goes up to 15 gigabytes of data per month. So both of these are putting a cap on your data. Proton VPN does not do that. Instead, Proton VPN has a different set of limitations on their free tier. So mainly you can't use it for streaming or torrenting. If you wanted to use it in order to access a show on Netflix that's only available in a different country, or not just Netflix, pretty much any streaming platform, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, Disney Plus, it doesn't really matter. You would not be able to use Proton VPN for it. You're also not gonna get the malware and ad blocker that is included in the paid version. And particularly with Mac, you do not have split tunneling. That's a feature that allows you to choose exactly which applications or websites are using the VPN. With Windscribe, you have a full split tunneling feature. And with TunnelBear, you do have split tunneling, but it is a bit limited. You can only use it for websites to exclude certain websites from the VPN, but with applications, it's just not going to work. Something else that's important to know is that all three of these VPNs have an audited no logs policy, meaning that independent third party companies have come in and checked out these VPNs and ensured that they are really keeping your data safe. Even the VPNs themselves do not have access to your internet activity and everything is being secured by virtually unbreakable encryption methods, primarily AES-256. Now, something else with Proton VPN and Windscribe is that you're going to get 10 locations, 10 countries that you can connect to for both of these VPNs. Now, that's a pretty decent number and they're spread out around the world so that you can get access to content or websites from different parts of the world, whether it's the US or Europe or Asia. So the main difference between these two is that Proton VPN is unlimited in terms of data. You can't use it for streaming or torrenting, but if you don't need to do one of those two things, it's pretty much the best free VPN you're going to find with its unlimited data. On the other hand, Windscribe, even though it does have the data cap, is one of the only free VPNs I know that will consistently and reliably get you access to streaming content. It also works well for torrenting and the speeds are great for both. On top of that, when it comes to just the amount of features that you have, Windscribe is pretty much unmatched. I don't know of any other free VPN, I'm not kidding, that has the amount of features that Windscribe does. You have the malware blocking, add and tracker blocking, and a bunch of other categories you can also filter out as well. You have different connection options. And like I mentioned before, you have split tunneling, which works fully on Mac. If it wasn't for that data limit, then Windscribe would take my top spot. But because of Proton's unlimited data, I would give it number one and put Windscribe at number two. Now, lastly, TunnelBear. So what's the deal with this VPN? Why am I even recommending it when it has only two gigabytes of data per month? That's very low. Um, the reason is really because of their locations. Like I said, Proton and Windscribe only have 10 countries that you can connect to. With TunnelBear, you have 46 which is the most that I know of of any free VPN. 
And that's really the only reason that TunnelBear even made it into this video. If for some reason you need a lot of places to connect to, but you don't need to use those connections with a lot of data, then TunnelBear is probably the one you should choose. But honestly, for pretty much anything else, I would either recommend Winscribe or Proton. Now, just to wrap up, if you are thinking of trying out one of these free versions and then maybe moving up to a paid plan, then I would also recommend Proton VPN over Winscribe. Proton's paid plan is really amazing. You get 127 countries to choose from and just some really excellent features. If you want something that's more like Winscribe, instead of moving up to their paid plan, I would instead recommend ExpressVPN. It has a similar look and feel to Winscribe, but it just performs a lot better and it's a lot faster. And I did manage to get a hold of some discount links. Those will be in the description and they'll get you the best possible price for both of these in case you want to save yourself some money and make the jump from free to paid not as difficult. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'm always looking to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.